but he's still our hero and our favorite human because he is indeed the goat. Like we were talking about it yesterday, uh, we're actually going back and forth with it with Steph and the years. Like this is one person who just always just tries to break his own record. He's competing with himself, literally. Also, a very big shout out to Tibet who won the particular marathon at the Boston situation. Congratulations. And yeah, welcome to the show. It's a bit cold, but you know, we know how to warm you up. It's Lydia's Breakfast Show in this here town, in this here city. And if you don't know, don't, don't even take my word for it, please. Just watch the whole show. 7 through 10 in the a.m., Monday all the way through Friday, and it's just Tuesday. So we got a lot in store for you this week. Yeah, so it's good, Brian. All right, good. Uh, thanks. Now, uh, speaking on that note of uh, elite Kipchoge, including uh, Ivan Chabet, and then there's an amazing lady as well who was representing, and it was Helena Biri. First of all, uh, a lot of Kenyans were watching this. Uh, Personally, I didn't get time to watch, but uh, I just went through the highlights. And all I can say is Kenyans are really, especially when it comes to athletes, are really putting Kenya on the map. And there's a highlight here that says Kenya's marathoner Hel Helen O'Beary has won the Boston Marathon, the two times 5,000 meter world champion, cut to the tip in a time of 2 hours, 21 seconds and 38, no, two hours, 21 minutes and 38 seconds. Mm -hmm. And then on the other side, we've got uh, Evans Chibet, who won the second consecutive Boston Marathon title, clocking up to two hours, five minutes and 54 seconds. But then uh, the conversation went back to Eliud Kipchoge, and they're saying long distance runner Eliud Kipchoge fails to win the Boston Marathon title and finishes sixth, clocking two hours, um, nine minutes and 23 seconds, which actually became a, con a, 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 conver a conversation on Twitter. And I was checking out some people are saying, oh, this time round, Eliud Kipchoge, Shinde. Oh, maybe he didn't prepare well, but you know, he still remains to be a legend when it comes to, you know, marathon or when it comes to uh, as an athletic. So uh, I, don't, I don't see it as a lose for Kipchoge. I, f I feel like it's, 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 it's putting still Kenya on the map, but at the same time, you know, somebody else won. In, in as much as, you know, we, we are always about, you know, go in, go in, go in. But, you know, sometimes things happen, they go haywire, and you have to go with the flow. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you a secret, people are never appreciated where they come from. <clears throat> when Elliot Kipchoge goes abroad, he has security. He has people receiving him from the airport. He gets his flowers from the airport. True. Here he acts like a normal person. So you monge to him, but that man is a hero. Right. Yes. Uh, there's a, let, me, let me try to get it. There's a reaction that was made by uh, a, a, a political analyst. Let me see if I can get it. Mm -hmm. She tweeted a very interesting right. I think I've found it. Right, I found it. She says, uh, some respect towards Eliud Kipchoge would surface no matter the outcome of the rest. Stop throwing shade and you can't even run away from your problems. <laughs> <laughs> Let alone run a Slow marathon. <laughs> 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 and then she goes ahead to say, you think it's a joke? You'll die without achieving an eighth of his involvement. And it confounds me the level of pettiness some of us exude. He's still a classy, hardworking athlete and patriot who had his ups and downs and all great human. He is still got. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I was blown away by that because uh, all of a sudden it was hatred, you know, because you know Elite Kipchoge for winning all the races mm -hmm. he, he, he competes. So I think that was a good one. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I can't wait to see what he will say because, uh, because when it comes to uh, matters, at athletics and sports in this country, we need to shine the light a lot on it because that's where our country is put on the map. Leave alone actors who are also making it big in other overseas countries. So for, for me, it's still a win for Ili Kipchoge. And then away from that, there's an interesting, heartbreaking story uh, that uh, took over social media as well as news outlets yesterday regarding uh, the shooting, or um, uh, still we can call it gun violence, for, of a young, 16-year-old uh, young boy who was shot um, on, on, in Missouri when he was uh, sent to pick his siblings uh, across the block. She just confused one block. And uh, I'll read what Naomi Campbell posted because it became like an activist thing. She said, um, she started with the hashtag Ralph Yal because uh, the young boy is named Ralph Yal. She said, I'm saddened and sick 
to my stomach and when will this stop? Heartbreaking beyond words, an innocent child, son, brother, precious 16 year old who accidentally rang the door of the wrong address in an attempt to pick up his siblings and was shot in the head by a man who didn't want him on his property. The innocent child is now fighting for his life and this could be your child. Then she goes ahead to finish up and says, this should not happen again. Please do something. This is America. And then she call, uh, she uh, left there some of the contacts, emergency contacts, just in case you are feeling unsafe in any block to reach out to. And then what hit my mind was uh, the issue of gun violence and the mass shootings. Like they've been back to back from last week, the previous week, and it's back to back. They're not stopping. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm, there's always something in America with in regards to guns so yeah it's not very it, it should be shocking but it's not yes right. but it is sad but then um, well, b before I left the house I, I, I tried to check out CNN the, the CNN newsroom with Alice and Camarota they were actually discussing the same same the same same topic and it's interesting that the, the 80 85 84 year old man who shot white man who shot him is finally free like he's not in prison anymore he's not been taken to prison and then uh some of the uh, the legal analysts were saying that he shot the young man because he was trying to defend himself and this is because he was in a glass house and he just saw this young man like over the, the on the on the opposite side of his wind and he thought it was an attacker so it has been justified that he's not guilty anymore and he's apparently free while the boy is in ICU fighting for his life. But then uh, again, while I was living, they said the boy has been discharged from hospital. So he's, he's with his parents. So I don't know how it went for like, he's fighting for his life, he's been discharged. And then this, the person who shot him or the assailant is now not guilty anymore. Mm -hmm. right. There was a story where someone was, I was showing Masai on Friday that there's someone in the States, I don't know what particular state, but he was arrested. Yeah? He was sentenced to jail for 70 years for spitting <laughs> at a policeman yeah. <laughs> during Sounds protests. Sounds like a Kenyan behavior. <laughs> spitting through uh, 70 years. 70 years. Yeah, sent to jail. I was like, wow. But, but uh, <laughs> for, for us right here in Kenya, that's just normal. Like somebody could even spit next to you. Hey, but a tattoo and you're, you're like, wow, that's, that's a lot. Hmm? Why? I, I think those 70 years should be transferred to this 84-year-old man who shot this you know, innocent 16-year-old. I think, I think it's just uh, the system. The system, no matter where you are, it can choose to do the most for some people and, yeah. and not enough for others. It right. is what it is. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, on that note, since you mentioned somebody who spat on someone mm -hmm. and was jailed, uh, I, there's an interesting question here that uh, popped up on uh, my Q and A meme feed, and uh, the, the 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 question was, what are some of the uncomfortable behaviors in public that would make you walk away, especially if you're seated next to a person in a public facility, and that includes a bus, a car, a restaurant. Etc. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I don't know what would make you comfortable, Val. If you are, they said uncomfortable behaviors in the public, that would make you walk away, especially if you are seated next to a person in a public facility, bus, car, restaurant, gathering, etc. Hey, that's that's a very wide question. Uncomfortable behaviors. Yeah. Ah. I For me, it's picking the nose. <laughs> you know, mm. I, I, I think that has once happened to me. Eh. And this this is a beautiful lady. What do you think? I like any CEO design. Yes, but CEO <laughs> design. I like any CEO design. I, I, I really don't know. That's that's a very hard question. See, I don't know. I where? Uncomfortable. Had yet I walk away. And I am yeah. able to walk away. Ju na na jan neza kwa n make up kwa basi na basi shatoka na ni shali pa fair. Yeah. I don't know. when it happens I'll let you know. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure it has happened to you a lot. Maybe you're just afraid to mention, but no worries, I got you. But on that note, we're going to take a very uh -huh. short break. We'll be coming back with Val, so you can talk about what you're going to be uh, doing next in the next immediate segment right now. All I can say is you should keep 
it why in the morning we're gonna very have a very healthy pun on the healthy healthy conversation <laughs> so keep it here also you can interact with us at y54 on facebook y254 channel on twitter y254 underscore channel on the gram hashtag of the day is why in the morning all right